everyone, it is Sos here, and we're back with Back to the Future, Episode 3, Citizen Brown. We just came home and found our father, George, knocked out, and I'm assuming this baseball bat has something to do with that, it. That's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. McFly's never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait, don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? Oh, why would anyone do a thing like that to a nice Sector L citizen like me? What's the last thing you remember? Yeah, tell me what you remember. <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. In a box marked raw footage. Tape case. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. I've been mugged. Mugged. Mm -hmm. Kill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh, don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who, who could have done this to me? Edna. Who wouldn't want Doc to get the straight dope on Hill Valley? Edna, are you saying I was mugged by the mayor's elderly wife? Um, not exactly. No. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope mm. against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. Let's look for more clues. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Six months. months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... Justice must prevail. We need to give it to Citizen I Brown. I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office. Just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with mouse flask. That is the most far-fetched story mm -hmm. I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. Prove it? Uh, do I have all my demerits still? PDA demerit. Read them and weep. Demerits, but it's the only way. I don't understand. Yeah. Listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know mm -hmm, that things mm -hmm, aren't right mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh. You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait. <laughs> Dad, and he's going to make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just going to have to trust me on this. Okay... First, I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Dad, this scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing. I can't say. But leave me out of Dad, it. I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. All right, it. guys. So this is genes. not going the way that it should. Do it for Arthur. Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Didn't he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone mm -hmm, was in mm -hmm, terror of Kid mm -hmm. Tannen and his goons. Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he always used to tell me. 
That's right. He was right. You should do the right thing. To remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera. The one in the yard. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. Got to cover all bases. Help me figure out which monitor I'm on. Right. Which monitor are we on? There's only three that work. Uh, monitors. How do we change it? That it? I'm looking for the one that's trained on us. Can we push the VCR? Can we change the input? Switch. No, switch. There we are. Monitor. Hello. George. Let me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course. Surveillance is what I do. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. I did. It's right here. Hello? Do I have to put them all on it? Will they all go to it? Do we need to click the VCR? There, that looks like us. So the surveillance tape must be on this VCR. This must be before the attack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I remember cleaning the playback heads at 5.30. The attack couldn't have been very long after. It's Not Biff. Bad, but it can't be him. The Citizens Plus program has rendered him as gentle as a kitten. Huh? huh? I can't understand it. It's not the way he's supposed to behave. Why, well, even the old Biff would wait, never... Wait, what's that weird flashing on his wrist? Let's find out. I knew this zoom and enhanced feature would come in handy someday. It cost me it's a the watch. The hobby shop. It's the watch. It's not a watch. It's his digital watch. I wonder why it's doing that. Hey, wait, wait, stop the picture. Can you zoom in anymore? X11. You know what that means? Not yet. Lorraine, don't lay into me, George. I've got something very important to say, and then I'm going to be leaving again. I've got something important to say, too. I was attacked it's and robbed. It's always about you, isn't it? You can't just wait and listen to my news. Oh, no. You have to go and beat me to the punch. That's right. You two sort things out. I've got some business to attend to. Hmm. Oh, our family is so messed up, guys. There's Biff, who attacked our father. Biff! Whoa, settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. We have a problem here, citizens? No, no, officer. Just a little misunderstanding. I'm sure we could work it out. Right, Martin? Sure. Okay. Let me know if you need any help, Mr. Tannen. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah, let's. You attacked my dad. Why'd you hurt my dad, Biff? He never did anything to you in this timeline. Timeline? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. I saw you on camera. I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to Citizen Plus, hmm. I don't I even think about doing bad stuff. <laughs> Nice. See? Vomiting on cue. Where were you when my dad was attacked? My dad, then. Where have you been for the last couple of hours? Well, I was... I was... What? That's strange. I, I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Where's my dad's secret you tape? My dad's secret videotape. Secret videotape? You know, the one that shows how people are fed up with all these screwy rules and laws. You lost me, Martin. But that tape sounds dangerous. It should probably be dumped in the decycling bin. That's probably where it is. What's the last What's thing you remember? The last thing you remember before your memory loss. Well, I was handing out flyers for the Citizen Plus program, just like I yeah, did in all yeah. 
I just finished giving some leftover bologna to a cute little squirrel when Miss Edna came by. Edna? Yeah. She wanted to run a, a, a diagnostic on my Citizen Plus watch. I must have fallen asleep or something, because when she was done, it was an hour later. And then your mom came by. Edna was so fiddling with your watch? Before my dad got beat up. Is Edna fiddling with your watch? Yeah, that does sound pretty bad, doesn't it? Let me see your watch. Hey, your watch? Does X11 mean anything to you? X11? Is that a new band or something? I don't go in for that new hippity hoppity stuff. It's not a band, Biff. It's a mode on your Citizen Plus watch. Weird. I've never seen it look like that. Heck, I can barely get this thing to stop blinking. See? Control, confront Biff, and locate George's secret tape. Oh! Hey, I didn't know you could do that! X. Eleven. Biff? Okay, that's weird. What's wrong with you? Did you attack my dad? Attack my dad? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Where's my dad's tape? Where's my dad's tape? <laughs> Do you cycling bin? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Could you go get my Could dad's you tape? Me a favor and go get my dad's tape. <laughs> Good job, Biff. Hey, Mr. Tin. What's up? Uh, 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 is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there. Uh, hey! Good job, Biff. Oh. Uh. Holy smokes. What happened to him? I don't know. No one's ever jumped into the decycling bin before. Well, where does it go? That information is above my pay grade. Jeez. Oh, I'm in a lot of trouble now. Marty, you should jump in. Fly. I gotta go tell Citizen Brown about this. No, Marty, we have to go in the bin. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Just do it. It goes nothing. Dun, 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 dun. Gosh, man. Did I do something wrong? Did I do something? Mr. Tannen, I put a lot of work into honing you as the first citizen plus. What on earth possessed you to assault a police officer and dive head first into the decycling bin? I do all that? Lord, <laughs> I thought your father was dim. Oh dear. Really? I don't remember doing anything like that. The last thing I remember, I was showing that nice McFly kid my watch. Then, blam, I'm down here and you're yelling at me. McFly? No! McFly. Edna. Oh, hi, Martin. Give me the tapes, Edna. Mr. Tannen, please restrain our guest. Uh... Stop! Stop! Oh no. <laughs> Break his watch. Use the arrows or click around. Biff, snap out of it. Ah. You have hands, Marty. Use them. Biff, isn't that the license plate to your car? Sheila? Oh. Tannen! Focus! Sheila? Oh. Sheila! Use the arrow keys or click and drag to look around. Novelties. Novelties? Biff, whoopee cushions. You never had much of a sense of humor. It's no use struggling, Mr. Um, McFly. It is theta amplified state, Mr. Video game. It's wild gunman. I'm not a fan of video games, huh? Einstein. Einstein? Okay. What's going on? Howard Tannen, obey your programming. Ah, ah. 
You see, Mr. McFly, thanks to the enhancements I've made to the Citizen Plus program, I can bring even the most rabid dogs to heel. So much vice and disorder. And to think, and actually wanting to shut down the X-11 initiative. With good reason, I should imagine, since it's controlling people. Um, we can't go that way any further. Oh, woo, beer. Hey, look over there. It's beer. Beer? Where am I? Tannen. I didn't mm -hmm, go mm -hmm, behind mm -hmm. my handy pamby husband's back so you could wallow in your vices. Uh, oh. Namby Pamby? I think Moth will make a nice Citizen Plus. Let's go this way. Don't you, Mr. Ten? Cars, girly magazines, porn. So, girly mags. Boobies. Boobies was the key. Tannen, listen to me. Uh, babes. Uh, Booze. Booze. We broke him. We broke him. We broke him. Mommy. You broke him. Get up, you useless slacker. I don't think that's Come being on, a useless slacker. A jerk a break. <laughs> a break. You sound like my wishy washy husband. Always trying to find the good in people. Never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tape so I can... You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly, especially when overseen mm. by minds as distractible as my husband's. No. No. Uh, no. Doc? Emmett, what are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tan. Doc, you gotta stop her. She... Silence. Okay. I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Really? Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. illnesses? Yeah, that's right. Be angry at her. Be turned off with a flick of a switch. Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember, if only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Oh, hold and wait for me. <laughs> Fine. You've been deceived. Doc. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, that's brilliant. The uh, most pathetic whatever. scream. <laughs> no, I'm sorry about it. Your father wouldn't blame you. I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy that I gave up my child's dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? I'm sure he is. Um, I'm, don't be so hard on yourself. We all make mistakes. Uh, don't be so hard on yourself. This Hill Valley may be a little messed up. Okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sorry about Edna. I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, 
principle, compassion. When did I lose her? I don't know. When did you lose her? Ah, enough following. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe. Okay, maybe so you're going to help me? What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone can be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. Yeah, accomplish it. Is it blank? The only one you need is right here. Interesting. The flux capacitor. It's like he's been drawing it this entire time. This, this could work. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. <laughs> Free Einstein. Martin, we must get started at once. Come on. Can you bring Einie along? The dog. Yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lot. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the furious, but who cares? They've got a time machine to fix. Woohoo! Woohoo! All right, looking good. Let's free Einstein. Free and Einstein, open the cage. Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Einie? Look out for Biff. Fly. Hey, Biff. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? Mm-hmm. So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. Watch out, Marty! What am I supposed to do? Stay. All right. McFly. Oh, crap. All right. Oh, crap. All right, McFly. Time to race the music. Face. It's face the music. Idiot. Time to face the music. I hope I don't run out of rocks. Um, records. Einstein. Should we have had the dog push him into the cage? Einstein. Einstein. Get him, Einstein. I kind of want Einstein to chase him into the cage. Marty, you're stupid. Um, push him into the cage. Records. Einstein. Mm, there's got to be something else we can do. What are we supposed to do? Uh, oh shoot. I don't know what we're supposed to do. Help! <laughs> Einstein can help you here. The two of you can get Biff into a hazardous position. Talk to Einstein, stick him on Biff, and then don't panic. Okay, panic was another hint. When Biff is close to the roulette table, let him have it. Press the panic button under the bar. Oh, this. Place your bets. What the... Oh, it's the roulette table from, from, from the speakeasy. How was I supposed to know that? Let's get out of here, Einie. 
All right. We did it, guys. We saved Einstein. Knocked out Biff. We'll be good. Let's just hope we can fix the time machine. Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and checked. Uh-oh, it's not Doc, is it? Totally laid him out with the old woman. It's Edna. Martin McFly. Uh-huh. It's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Oh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Better place? What have you done to him? Relax. What did you do to him? We've got everything under control. Where is he? No, Doc! Oh dear! Oh dear, guys! What have we done? Doc is being brainwashed, and we're about to go join him. Edna, you are one crazy girl! Oh dear. I think that's the end of this episode, guys. Is it? I don't know. Wait, what's going on? In the next episode. Here's the story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. Edna, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. Oh dear. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. Hmm. For us. Hmm. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will see you in the next episode. Please take care, stay happy, comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!